Here we are in Bleak Falls Barrow. And uh, we've come through the first part of it here. Taking care of those first two bandits. And Harold is enjoying a little time in front of the fire. So since we're just sitting here and having a little fireside chat, and because this is the the intent of my videos uh, as much as anything else. Uh, let's just talk mods just very quickly before we get into gameplay. Uh, you may hear a little bit of uh, sound from the fire. I've added a new audio file for fire. It claims to be a little bit more realistic so I let that overwrite um, audio overhaul for Skyrim and it does, it sounds pretty good actually. A nice crackly kind of fire. We'll see if it's it's a one-trick pony, as it were. But, um, you know, when we get near other fires and things, and see if it sounds the same. If it's just like that all the time, then I may just dump it. I also added a couple of other little things, uh, a new texture for bees and honeycombs and things like that. Nothing earth-shattering, nothing that will require new patches. Um, I want to try to keep this load order stable, so... We're not going to be anything anything more than that. Uh, perhaps if if uh, a mod updates or something, I'm, I may uh, give that a shot. So anyway, enough mod talk. Um, one last little item here uh, in Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh, we'll be coming back here uh, after this trip through the rest of the dungeon, and we're going to pick up our little our little friend here, Atlas. Uh, this is where he he's. He has left. Hi there, little buddy. Uh, we'll be back for you later. So, uh, okay. Harold is curious about this place. He talked to Lucan and discovered that he had a chance to do a little little practice, a little uh, bandit marauding, as well as help somebody out, and perhaps find some interesting relics. So it seemed like a good, a good place to come and get some of the rust out of his joints. Ember Shard Mine was, was good, and uh, uh, it's time to continue that. But let's, let's be cautious. Let's not, let's not jump too far ahead of ourselves here. Well, that's certainly a good lesson in caution. But our... Hmm. No. So we have picked up a few things on our way, on our travels through uh, the last couple of uh, encounters with enemies. Uh, one being a really nice steel war pick, which we're going to hang on to. It's a perfect weapon for Harold. We did pick up this iron war axe of cold, but uh, the war pick is, is much more uh, vicious. Uh, so let's see. Now Harold does know something about these old Nord ruins, having grown up here in Skyrim, so it's not hard to figure out what the puzzle is. Clearly this bandit was uh, not a genius, didn't have a PhD or uh, anything close to it. So he's going to surmise that this is the proper sequence. Poor guy probably didn't even, I mean, he probably looked at these and said, huh? Before we go along, let's just run up here and see if there's anything worth gathering. Yeah, a little bit of and some of these linen wraps. They'll help us make make things. Anything could come up those stairs at any moment. Excellent. Not that Harold will be doing a whole lot of pickpocketing, but uh, it's always good to level up a skill. Ah, yes. The Bizarre Cup. Can 
hear something in the background there. And what do we have here? A scroll of fireball and a weak potion of paralysis. Definitely things we can use. Is, is someone coming? Is that you, Hotnir? Bjorn? Soling? I know I ran ahead to the claw, but I need help. Is that you, Arvel? I heard them talking about you. I believe they were not very pleased with the fact that you ran ahead. to deal with that. We're going to have to peck away at it with arrows, I'm afraid. I, I think I didn't even notice in the screen there um, whether it resisted that poison poison of paralysis or whether it's just Don't let it get me. had such a short effect that I didn't, I barely noticed it. Let's get it a little closer. Yeah, no. So, our strategy is going to be simply snipe. And try to snipe as much from from sneak as possible so we gain that bonus. Oh! Crud. One more of those, and another of those. Get it away from me. Get it away. Let's just retreat a little bit. Ah! My last... Impure elixir of fortification. Keep it away from me. Oh, good lord. I'm gonna have to try to find some of my missed arrows, too. Don't let it get me. Help. Get it away from me. Get it away. Get it away from me. Almost got him down. And done. Wow. Get me down. Get me down. Harold's just going to have to stand here and rest for a minute. Man. Let's health recover a touch. So, we're going to be very careful and, uh,. We're going to extract the venom. Sometimes, when you're not skilled with this, um, you can actually get get the stuff on yourself. And uh, ah, good arrows, excellent. And spider silk is a very very nice component. Let's search them and see if there's anything left. No, we already got arrow. All right, let's dispose of that nasty corpse there. You. You got me killed at least three times. You got yourself into this position. Why should I help you? You did it. You killed him. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Fine. Sweet breath of arcade, thank you. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but... Over here! It's coming loose. I can feel it. All right. What the... You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Ah, uh, I should have known better. Guess we'll just have to go after him.
Hmm. Something happened up there. Now I... Let's just be cautious here. What did we hear? These Draugr are tough. Harold is, if nothing else, a cautious cat. Seems like a good strategy. I think we'll leave well enough alone. It's hard to sneak in heavy armor, but Harold learned a few things while he was in the army. That sounded like Arvel. Definitely worth checking out this chest up here. Make sure there's nobody watching us. One thing one learns when in the company of thieves and cutthroats for ten years is a certain ability with, shall we say, the less than legal arts. Well, looks like Arvel got himself killed. seem like a good option for uh, an escape route. So it seems like it's not a good idea to trust that these Ancient Nords will stay dead. Oh my goodness. It's definitely worth keeping those traps moving in case things sneak up behind us which they have a tendency to do.
Let's see. If we can play this correctly. Draw a couple of them out. Ah. That did not work out as planned. How did you get through there? Okay, how many are left down there? Come on now. And that took care of that. All right. Now. Are you kidding me? Okay, come on. Come on. One down. And two down. All right.
Let's just lock that behind us. No need to invite more. Draugr to our flank. Steel greatsword. Hmm. Now, Harold is more of a one handed user. Sometimes extreme. Let's see if we can sneak up on this little guy here. Smart for me. Meanwhile, hidden. A little larceny is in order. Oh, but we're not as hidden as, as we thought we were. This guy's pretty dangerous. Let's see if we can get the drop on him with an arrow. That's a little too close to the wall there. And he's pretty tough. Oh, that was a really big wind up there. Woo. Well, clearly I can't block that kind of power attack. So, oh, where'd he go? Whoa, I thought it was gonna, I thought I was, gonna, there he is. Hmm. Hmm. Well. There he is.
That's not something we want to get. In front of. We do not want to get in front of that wind up. That is a dangerous, dangerous attack. That got him. Now, if we can come around and flank him. Maybe even get back up here. Nice, got a good shot at him on there. bone man don't let him get up on you in that power attack there he is Maybe I can get him get him with another shot at the bow yes No, 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 shoot. How am I not taking any damage now? The Sanctum Sanctorum. Time to level up. So let's do that and level up here. I think it's time to take a bonus and sneak. So let's. Let's continue on. Come on. Come on, me hearties. Come to me through the axes. over to the bow here. Will he come across behind that bridge? Yeah, I got him. Okay. That's two down. Another one. Is he going to come down here? Uh, 
Excellent. Wasn't sure if that would work. Uh, you know what? Did I pick up a bow already? That's 13 damage. It's the same as my current bow, is it not? Yes. I have enough. Wait, or am I already carrying one? Ancient Nord arrows. No. Yes, I am carrying one. All right. Not going to waste the, the weight carrying capacity. All right, feels like we're getting along here. Ah. The door that Arvel mentioned. So. To look at the claw. I said, look at the claw. Did we forget to pick Arvel's body? Uh, well, we'll be right back. Let's see if they respawn in here. I believe they have. Okay, come and get me. can see me now. Come on. Come get me. Okay. Let's go back at this again. With Genesis respawning, probably about eight more Draugr. Let's see if we can draw them through this. Come on, boys. Come and get me. Let's get out the bow. They can come after me. Come on, guys. Ah, and another. And there's one more of ye. It's the rat. Okay. And now that we've finally gone back and got the Golden Claw, which Harold didn't realize he needed to open this door. Let's take a look at it here. Mm, yes, Bear Moth Owl. And 
there we go. This is where we need to be extremely careful. Let's just grab a bite to eat. seem to be anything lurking yet. Have to use every advantage we can. Wow, and that's an advantage. That I was not expecting. But I can't say that I'm uh, terribly disappointed. What the heck is this? Harold has no clue at all and doesn't really care. Hmm, let's see, ancient texts, soul gems, the old ways. That's a good book. Book collecting, excellent. Check a notice board about book collecting. And nothing much else interesting here. Observant Skyrimmers will notice the lack of something very important or not. Say no more on that subject. But after that romp through Bleak Falls with scores of Genesis spawned Draugrs having hmm, no, nah, it's not worth the carry weight. Uh, having taken on that overlord and taking him down so easily uh, is a somewhat cathartic experience for Harold. So let's count our blessings and move on from here and take the Golden Claw back to Lucan and uh, and call that done so that's our leveling that's our Let's call that our practice, our um, 
<clears throat> pardon me. Let's call that our, let's call that Harold's training run. So, we're going to end this section of Harold's journey here at the exit from Bleak Falls Barrow. It seems like a fitting place to both end and begin. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. And from here, we're going to we're going to take Harold, and we're going to try to find a real a real purpose for him. And stepping out of that and into the reason for Harold's existence in the first place, let's talk quickly about Skyrim Unbound and what this is all about. It's all about character crusade and the, the people that run Character Crusade, wonderful guys, Stu and Joe and Matt, who do such an awesome job of making truly compelling content. And this sort of challenge, this, uh, this creative process that they have come up with for us to sink our teeth into, this Unbound, is based on the mod we talked about at the very beginning of, the, of this uh, section of, of mine uh, called Skyrim Unbound. And all of us are playing this. We are creating characters and putting them in situations that are random and, and then asking questions about what kind of things would these characters do? How would they react in this world? How would they, uh, what would they do from here? Um, and the level cap that the character crusade uh, guys have imposed on this first episode is 8 to 12. We're now at level 6, uh, which was their minimum, really. And so we're, where, we're pretty much where we want to be, I think. Uh, we're going to continue this. But from here, this is, from this spot is the meat of the Unbound series. And here we, uh, we're going to take Harold's hood off. And we're going to look, look at him. And we're going to contemplate what he might become, what he's been, and where he's going to go. So, in the spirit of Unbound, in the spirit of looking to the future and seeing only hope and perhaps a little bit of redemption, perhaps some real purpose and perhaps meeting someone important in Harold's life, perhaps uh, falling in with friends, falling in with uh, companions, and, and here's to finding treasure and wonder and all of the other things that Skyrim has to offer. So until then, and until all of that happens, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again as Harold continues his unbound adventures through the beautiful, beautiful land of Skyrim. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the YouTubes.